Okay then, so now then, what's a grey-haired fat old bloke doing? Making and recording music anyway. We've got no business, we're old. How did that sound? No, forget that. Um, so this is my workstation and uh, what does a sole producer like me do in between projects? We just, I've just uh, put uh, 90 seconds to midnight up for people, interested people to uh, have a listen to and so for me that's like ooh, my baby's gone out into the wild uh, what do I do next and um, so the answer is just to set up another project file start on another one uh, so now the work is called album 2024 imaginary stuff and each track is called track one track two track three track four I'm doing ten tracks again and uh, I've no idea what the instrumentation is going to be. I've no idea how many tracks or anything. But the important thing is to just get started and start doing something. So what's the what's the next thing? Is to set up a new project file. And I thought would take I'd take a look at um, how I would set up um, balance a uh, a virtual drum set uh, because that's the we're going to use drums. I don't know how many, but I'm going to use drums. And a time-honoured uh, method of doing that is to is what and what I use is to balance against uh, a pink noise track. So um, we'll have a little bit of a look at that. Now, so. <laughs> The way this used to be done back in the good old days, when we all had to go into a studio, was some poor sound engineer would sit there in a booth, going what, and, and the drummer would sit in the in the live room, all mic'd up, and the drummer would just go whack 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 on the snare, and then whack 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 on each tom each tom all around the kit, and the poor old sound engineer would just sit and have to balance those things in the in the control room, uh, and what a job. <clears throat> but thankfully computers yay it means old men can make music and um, so there's a time there's a we bring some of the techniques from the good old days like uh, pink noise level setting and I'm going to do that we've already had a bit of a preview of it and so the technique is to just run a pink noise which is uh, random frequency noise um, at say a constant volume, so I mean, I'd, I'd, my my starting baseline is minus nine dB, and um, and then we solo each drum against that pink noise track, and just bring the level up of each one until you can just hear each drum peeking through the pink noise, um, and there's reasons of uh, acoustics that we do that uh, because the levels are actually going to be different for each frequency of instrument that we're putting in because our ears listen to different frequencies more sensitively in some of the spectrum than others. So um, let's have a bit, m bit more of a look at uh, that continuing process.
but it's not quite time to start dancing yet. That isn't a very imaginative beat pattern. I like it. I'd listen to it all day. I frequently do. But it's not, you know, nobody's going to buy it. So, um, time for a check on headphones as well as on the room monitors. These are, these are monitors. So, uh, I've got to get into the habit of calling them speakers and not monitors. Um, headphones. Got to check everything through headphones as well. There's room monitors because everything sounds different. Um, no crosstalk on the headphones. So then, once there's a quick check on headphones that everything sounds as you expect it to sound, then you're ready to go. And we don't know what drums we're going to be using out of this set, uh, but probably be the same ones that I always use. I always get carried away and use everything. Um, and um, then, so that's my time then I've got to start having ideas about what, about what my first track is going to be on my difficult second album.